you think you ought to put nothing on the pulpit? You know, something made with a cross or something that represents Christ. But but an African flag color over there. Yeah, I said, yeah, I don't know about all that. And, and we got to be careful how we operate in the church and what we do in the church. The church is God's house and it's sacred. Mm -hmm. And it ought to always remain sacred. Mm -hmm. Don't bring stuff outside the church that, you know, you gotta be careful when you decorate the church. Mm -hmm. You know, that looks good, but that, oh, that's too worldly, you know, you know, you don't wanna put that, put that in there. Uh, uh, and so it was, uh, as these kings came along, they disregarded God all together. Uh, can I use this word? They, they, they polluted the temple. They just didn't put everything. They began to uh, 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 have all kind of sacrifices in the church. And, 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 and this is a thing that uh, I think we ought to remember as believers. Uh, there are two ordinances that we keep above, above, above anything in the church, and that's what we keep. The Lord's Supper and baptism. We keep those in board and keep those on anything that gets in it. Well, you know, uh, 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 they do this. That's what, if they're going to do that, that's what they do over that church. We ain't doing that over here. Uh, you got to be practical, be careful what you see other folk doing, what you see the world do, and remember what God demands of us. And so it is here. Now here is uh, 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 the, 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 the Israel is in a big dilemma right now. Things have gone awry and uh, worship, you know, when it becomes, when worship is, is, is can I use the word, when worship becomes raggedy? <laughs> uh, huh? <laughs> uh, you know, that's no, that's no worship. Uh, uh, and it become, it had become a, a circus. It had become just, uh, like going to a show or anything. Here it was, all kind of sacrifices in there, all kind of other gods in there, all kind of altars built in there. And how can you worship? What, they wasn't worshiping God. Uh, uh, and so it was. And so uh, uh, here it is now that, and God had allowed these kings to be there, but they were wicked kings. And, and, you know, sometimes, you know, I, you, you don't want to question God. Why did God allow? God has a purpose for everything he does. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, because he probably looking at the, the hearts of his people, and uh, the people were liking it. They weren't doing nothing. Uh, uh, you know, uh, I, I used to, this, 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 this lady used to tell me, she was talking about her church. She said, look, people will only do what you let them do. I mean, you know, I kind of read it, so I said, wait a minute. If somebody, if you keep letting folk do it, they'll, just, if they'll do what you let them do. If you don't stand up and do nothing about it, they'll just keep on doing it. And, and so can you imagine these kings, the, 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 the people ought to say, look, I know you're king, but we worship a God. And that that you're doing is not kosher to us. So we're not going to go along with all that that you're putting in our church and all this altar that you're building. Uh, our God, we, we just not going to go along with that. So the people were going along with it. And so God kind of knows the heart of his people. So here it is now, uh, uh, Joshua comes along and he's a king. Uh, it amazes me that uh, uh, eight years old being a king. Can you fashion in your mind eight years old being a king? Uh, most folk ain't gonna follow nobody eight years old. <laughs> That's the problem folk gonna have. <laughs> he don't know nothing about life. That's the problem we have with young preachers. Folk that follow folk, but he won't follow young people. He don't know nothing about life. He's too young to be a pastor. He's too young. You know, we'll, 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 we'll bring them down because, but if God puts them there, leave it alone. God put them there. He'll work it out. Amen. Uh, 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 and so, 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 so here, and here's the amazing thing. Here it was, Josiah come from uh, a corrupt family. His dad and his grandfather were wicked. That's right. So you figure, how can something good come out of a, 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 a wicked father 
a wicked grandfather, but God can dip me in the monks, uh -huh. something just trashy in the safe, yeah. and lift up something good. So, so in the midst of all of that that was going on, he saw something good and then picked out Josiah at a young age, eight years old, and allowed him to be king. Amen. What I like about this, Josiah began to look at the temple and remember, now, at, 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 look, 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 at his age, he could not remember all that God had done for these generations back. And, 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 and but, 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 but God can work with him and, and put in his heart to know that something is not right about the temple. Right. And, and he realized that it was destroyed. And, and it didn't rest well with him. Now, we ought to always want to have a place to worship. Amen. We ought to always have a desire to have a place to worship. And so Josiah realized that uh, the temple had been destroyed. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and so, so he wanted them, he wanted those, uh, since it was destroyed, uh, he wanted them to go investigate and look among the temple and see what was in it. So when we look at this, uh, and then he wanted something better. Look, I, I look at our lesson, the title, Josiah brings reform. What is reform? What is, what is reform? Change. He wants to change. Look, I, I'll say this and I've said it probably a hundred times. <sighs> change is inevitable. Uh -huh. Growth is optional. Time is going to change, but if you don't grow, yeah. it's up to you. That's right. yeah. Time changes. Things change right now. You can, you can still write on a pencil and pad all you want, uh -huh. and computers are taking over, uh -huh. and you can keep on pencil and pad all your life. <laughs> you, you can do that. That's fine. But it comes a time with change, and here's a change that I hate. I, I like talking on the phone with personal people, but I got to adjust that you got to email a whole lot of stuff now. I like to talk to persons now. You can't talk to, well, we got to send you an email, and you respond to this email. Can I talk to somebody? But that's the change. <laughs> you got to adapt to the change. Now, you can say, well, I ain't going to talk to her. Well, okay, you get your business taken care of. <laughs> I get frustrated sometimes. I, I want to, to, can I talk to a person? No, uh, we'll, we'll switch you over to him and, send it, and we'll send you this app. You can respond to them and answer the question and send it back. But, but, but that's change. Amen. And, and, and so, 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 so Josiah wanted to change things. He knew that things were not right. He wanted to bring on something that, that, to, to revive things. And so as we look at uh, verses 8 to 10, Josiah recognized sin and repented. Uh, Josiah recognized that this, this, this something's not right. Uh, uh, and, and, and he can see sin on the rage, even at a young age, and uh, I guess around, I guess it was about 18 years later, or whatever, at the age of 26 or 16, it, it kind of progressed. Even at 16, he began to be involved in it because he didn't he didn't reign from the age eight to the age of 39. He only reigned 31 years, but he died at 39. But in his time. Uh, of his ring, he was constantly reforming. He was, con and here's the thing: God was with him. Amen. That, that's the biggest yeah. thing. God was with him in this. Amen. And here's the other thing: his heart was pure with God. He was not doing it for any fame, any repetition, any recognition. He was doing it for God, and he knew what God wanted for His people, and He wanted to bring the people and reform the people and get back to where we ought to be. You know, we can get off course sometimes. And we can get comfortable being off course. That's right. And we get so comfortable, we forget what the real thing's supposed to be. 
And so I can imagine what the people were. They were, you know, you can do wrong so long it seems right. Really? You you think wrong is right? You, you do it long enough, cause you don't put right aside. You don't know what right is no more. And and so 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 it here it is that that that. Uh, 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 Josiah recognized sin and repented in these verse, verses 22, 8 through 10. Uh, 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 and, 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 and it says, <clears throat> uh, And Hilkiah and the high priest said unto Shaphan the scribe, I have found the book of the law in the house of the Lord. And Hilkiah gave the book to Shaphan and he read it. And Shaphan the scribe came to the king and brought the king the word again and said, Thy servants have gathered the money that it was found in the house and have delivered it unto the hand of them that do the work, that have the oversight of the house of the Lord. And Saphon the scribe showed the king, saying, Hilkiah the scribe had delivered me a book, and Shephar read it before the king. Here it was, he had, they had sent the scribe and the priest to the temple. In the midst of them going down there, have you ever, have you ever, uh, 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 cleaned up for somebody or, or done anything and you, you run up on something and say, boy, look at this. Uh, 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 it's amazing and, and, and we was going through our dad house and we found some pictures, me and my little sister, way back, we were back in California. You know, dad kept pictures and, and he was in the drawing. We found, we said, man, look at this. It was me and my sister and the other sister. We was in, standing in a, by a house in the drawer. We didn't know daddy had those pictures. He had them back there. But when you go through and you find something, it amazes you. Mm -hmm. So can you imagine when they were in the temple and they ran up on the book, the Mosaic book, the Pentateuch, the Terror. Here it was, the book of the law. Uh -huh. That was amazing to find something like that in the temple. And, and when they found it and they began to read it, it had to be been made because this is how we ought to be living. Mm -hmm. You know, we've gotten our course, and here's our recipe. Here's what we can get back. You know, I think sometimes when we find something, when we think something is, is coincidental, I think in heart, God planned them to find that. <laughs> God can, can, can orchestrate things in a way that we think is coincidental, but it's God's planning. Amen. Uh, uh, they were in that, but I, I think God allowed them to find that book. And uh, when, they, when they looked at it, they read it, and, and they wanted to bring it to the king. Uh, uh, and here's the other thing, here's the other thing I, <laughs> I think about. You know, money can excite you. Can, can, can you run and run through somebody's house and boy, look at all these hundred dollars in here. You almost split. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Don't nobody know but me and you. <laughs> but they really <laughs> but, but but here's the thing, here's the thing, they found the money. And 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 that's why I know God always an orchestrate. When God is in it, your heart is in the right place. Yeah. And they realize that in this temple renewing, uh, work was being done and nobody was getting paid. And they thought we can use this money to pay for the help. And, 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 and Josiah trusted these that they would do right with the money. And, and, and so they took the money and they gave it and delivered to them that were doing the work. Uh, uh, and, and, and after they had done that, they showed this book to uh, the king. And the priest delivered the book, and, 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 and then look, isn't it funny the scribe read? Why not the priest? I guess he was secretary, so I guess I'll read it. I'm, I'm secretary, I'm the scribe, so I guess I'll read it, but not the priest. Uh, 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 uh. Here's what happened, and, and I, I want you to look at this. When something amazes you, it re something reacts to you. Uh, when we look at this, look where Josiah's heart was. He had sent them over to go into the temple. They had discovered the money, they paid the help, 
And when they began to read this book, uh, it affected Josiah. Have you ever been preached to where it just affects you so much? You may not show it uh, just physically, but, but on the inside, boy, you are rumbling and bubbling. Uh, you may not physically get up and run or nothing like that, but that word is in you so much. Uh, sometimes you're looking at, at folk, but you don't see nothing. Because you, you're almost blinded. You're so full that the word has hit you and done so much for you. Uh, uh, it, it just overtakes you. And, and, and when they began to read the word uh, to, to the king, he rent his clothes. I mean, he was, he, that, that got to him. He just rent his clothes and he was all excited about it. Uh, uh, and, and he began to look at something. There's something in that book. There's some meaning in this. Now, uh, here's what I want you to do. Uh, I want you to inquire with the Lord and give me some more substance to what it's saying and, uh, 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 because I, I, I feel something in that. And, and, and I want you to go and inquire about that. And so, so he has sent uh, uh, the scribe and, 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 and the priest and some others. And he says, go to the prophetess. And he sent them to this prophetess. Uh, 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 and, 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 and she said, look, uh, uh, I want you to go and, 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 and let her tell me what this says. Uh, uh, this is Josiah, uh, look. This only recalls Josiah's repentance response to what he heard. His beckoning, his spiritual leadership, his prayer, partners to seek God's face concerning national repentance and restoration of the covenant of the word of a prophetess. He wanted interpretation. The prophetess, uh, uh, Hilda, she was going to interpret and get back to what God was saying in this word. I, I like how God operates. He can put everything in place so, so precisely yeah. and so precise. And that's why I tell folk, when you say God knows my heart, he knew what was in Josiah's heart. Uh -huh. He knew Josiah wanted to do, and he wanted some instructions. He wanted to do what's right because can you remember uh, when you look at this, uh, 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 and we remember, and we can study in our book, the first five books of the Bible. What do we call them? And they are the law. So can you imagine all the law being presented before Josiah? And look at how we live in, how we should be living. We are, of course. God is requiring us to do this. And look what we're doing. Did he, when you said he rent his clothes, because, uh, I don't remember, but I was wondering, did he rent it because he realized when they read the book that they had been doing wrong and he was repenting? He was repenting. Right. He, it was, and you know what I like about it? I'm glad you said that. And sometimes, this is a good thing, when the leader can recognize it's, it's wrong all over. I'm going to get myself straight to show as leader, I'm going to be right. As I lead, I can't lead the people if I'm not right. And he recognized that, that let me get myself right. Because as the head goes, the body goes. So if the head is off crooked, the body's going to be crooked. So, so, so he recognized that, and I liked about that. He says, you know what? I, I want to sure let them know that I'm, I'm for real. I'm going to get myself. I'm going to repent. I'm going to show that I'm, I'm sorry. I, 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 I didn't, you know what? He didn't say, well, I wasn't there. I'm, I'm young. I wasn't around when all that happened. I can't take blame for that. But he wanted to show enough to show that I am sorry that it's happening like this, and I want us, I want me starting with me. I want us to be better. And that's why he repented that, and that's why he wanted it. Sure it was. No. 
uh, and that's why, that's why, that's why, uh, uh, if, if you never get this right, you'll never live. You won't. You'll exist, but you'll never live. If your heart never gets right, you'll just exist. Uh, uh, uh. And so, so it was there. Uh, uh, and, 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 and after that, he realized what was going on. He says, you know, I, I, I've seen all this, and uh, uh, I've gotten word from what this is all about. I need to get the people together. See, well, that's what I like about it. He realized himself. And he says, now that uh, all this has taken place, now that I've gotten reference, I've gotten a further view of what God, I need to get the people together now. Yeah. And, and as a leader, that's good. I got myself kind of straightened. I'm concerned about the people. Amen. And, and here's how he did it. He didn't just get just anybody. He got sort of the leaders of the church Amen. And, and got them together. That's the, that's, the, that's the step he took. He had sense enough, I, I need to get these together and come together. So, so in, in, in 23rd uh, 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 chapter, that first verse of, of Second King, he says, and the king sent and they gathered unto him all the elders of Judah and of Jerusalem. The first thing he does is call for a unified gathering. Amen. Underline unified. Amen. It's nothing like unity. Right. I ain't doing this. I ain't in charge by myself. I ain't, I ain't all this. I'm going to bring some unity. And so he began and he gathered all of them and had a, gather, a unified gathering for the elders uh, uh, and those that had authority from the nations of Judah and Jerusalem. Uh, and, and I liked about it. And, and the king went up to the house of the Lord, and, and, and all the men of Judah, and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem with him, and the priests, and the prophets, and all the people, both small and great. And he read in their ears all the words in the book of the covenants, which was found in the house of the Lord. Look, he said, look, we're going to do this together. Uh -huh. I've gotten some insight on it. I've known what I felt that, but we're going to read it. And all we're gonna hear, all, all of us, we're gonna hear this. And you know what that does? It now puts responsibility on some leaders. Uh, you know, we can say, "Well, I didn't know." <laughs> we can buy that real good. I didn't know. You can play ignorant for a little while, <laughs> but but God knows <laughs> you. You you know but you know and and, and, I, and I say this and 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 and, and, and it's, it's, it's a travesty. Folk right now ought to know so more about the Bible than they ever had. Cause Big Mama and them, all they had was the Bible, and they didn't have many versions of it. Now we got it on vert. We can get it on the phone. We can get it in a tape. We can get it all kind of ways. So if you don't know nothing about, it's shame on you. Well, I don't know. I don't have no Bible. Well, I don't know how to start reading. Did you ever ask anybody? Did you ever inquire? Did you ever put an interest in it? Since sometimes you got to show some interest in yourself right. that you want to be part of that. Uh -huh. We can play ignorant all we want. Right. Uh, well, you know, I don't know nothing about the Bible. I, I don't know even where to start reading the Bible. Uh, huh? You ever ask anybody? You ever been concerned about it? Do you ever ask for help? Uh, uh, they don't apply themselves. That's one of the things too that if the if we never keep God first, that's that's our problem. Yeah. God always has to be first. Mm -hmm. uh, we have can, can I put this? And we have other interests, and, and we'll get involved in other interests and spend more time on that than we do anything else. You know, it, it's a travesty if you can't spend five minutes a week in the Bible. I ain't, I ain't talking about a day, five minutes a week. I ain't talking about the church either. I'm talking about on your own. Not a day, 
but you can't spend five minutes a week. That's sad. It's a sad connotation. And we probably got about 80% of the world that's doing that. They get the Bible, and, and, and when they get to church, and I'm, and I'm, 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 I'm I still hate to do this. <laughs> we get to the church, and the God, she passed the call of scripture. You can hear them flipping it. <laughs> hope, they help, they fi- hope they find the name of that Bible somewhere along in there. They don't know where the Old and New Testament and they just <laughs> they don't know nothing about the Bible until they get here. And the sad part of once they leave it here is back on the shelf. <laughs> or back wherever it was. <laughs> That's a sad connotation. We as as God's people, we ought to be uh, 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 wanting to always look at the word and hear the word and read the word for ourselves. Mm-hmm. It's good to have a preacher to preach the word. It's good somebody, but you ought to have some inclination in yourself to want the word for yourself. Uh, and so, so, so here it was that uh, 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 as he got all the people and he read all this to them, and it says, and the king stood by a pillar and made the covenant before the Lord to walk after uh, the Lord and to keep his commandments and his testimonies and his statutes with all their heart and with all their soul to form the words of the covenant that were written in the book. And all the people stood to the covenant. Basically, he got like a poor because he wanted them to know this. But it's, couple, it's, it's, it's things that he wanted them to do. Look. He told them that he wanted them to walk. That walk is your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. That's what he was saying. Mm -hmm. To walk in God's way. He wants your lifestyle to be godly. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, uh. Then he wanted them to keep the commandments. He wanted them to observe them. Not just hear them, but keep them. Uh, 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 uh. Then he wanted them to perform or fulfill the words of God. So he had a task for them. He wanted them to walk. He wanted them uh, to keep. And then he wanted them to perform this. He made this renewed covenant right there with them. Now here's the thing. Here's the thing that hits the lick right here. He did all that. Let me tell you something. He said, now that y'all heard how he wants you to walk, how he wants you to perform, how he wants you to observe, he wants some true worship. You know the problem that he was looking at? We worship him out of habit. That's a travesty. When you worship out of habit, it's just a habit. Well, it's Sunday. I normally go to church on Sunday. I'm going to hear the preacher preach. I usually do that on Sunday. Then I come on back home. Mm-hmm. He don't want that kind of worship. Mm-hmm. He says, I want something from the heart. I want something sincere. I want some true worship. Uh, uh, look, when there is true worship, the church catches on fire. When there's true worship, there 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 souls being saved. Uh, 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 it's 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 not pleasing to God to have habitual worship, just to come by habit. That's not pleasing God. Uh, 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 you got to get out. You got to have something within you. I, I tell and I tell and folks say this all the time. You know I didn't get nothing out of it. You was empty before you came. You was, and you had a ceiling on the top when you was empty, and you had a top on the ceiling when you come. Mm-hmm. Nothing couldn't get in. You was empty to begin with. <laughs> then you had a top on the ceiling, and couldn't nothing be pulled in. Amen. And so when you left, you left the same way. Amen. Uh, at least you ought to come expecting uh, that, 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 that I'm going to worship. 
And, and I tell folk all the time, if God ain't done nothing for you, I can understand it. Don't get excited then. Y'all not get excited. I don't blame you. If you think God ain't done nothing for you, well, huh? God ain't done nothing for you. Now, I don't see how nobody can say it, but it's, whoo. <laughs> That, 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 that'll hold it, that'll hold it for a long time. If nothing else. Yeah. They ain't talking about the most spectacular stuff. Yeah. Just a matter of fact that when you went last night, and your eyes went down, yeah. they could have been permanent. Uh -huh. Huh? Yeah. You could have known nothing else from then on. Mm -hmm. Huh? That's what happened. Mm -hmm. and, 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 so, and so it is that, that when you come, you ought to be excited about worship. Uh, coming that I, I'm coming to praise God because he is so good. Yes. You know, I, 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 I say that God has been good. I always like to use the present tense. He's good right now. He's good right now. Uh, I don't have to go back from yesterday. Right now. He's good right now because I can still breathe that air. Still got a voice. I can come right now. Still see y'all out there. Right now. So, so see, that's a good news. Uh, uh, and so, 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 when we look at this, uh, he wanted them to worship from their heart. Uh, 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 uh. In essence, the people were moved from habitual, wholehearted worship of the Lord. They were charged to resist rituals and respond to righteousness. And we've got to get out of rit rituals and get into righteousness. Now, here's something, here's something. Uh, in this, and Josiah recognized this, if we're gonna do this thing right, I've got to, I've, I've, I've repented of myself. I've got the people understanding how God really wants to worship. I'm gonna do something now. When we look at these verses, uh, these first three verses, Josiah got busy. Clean house. Uh, he says, now, we're going to worship now. But uh, it's kind of polluted over there. We need a clean house. So he was physically and spiritually ready to do this renewal and revival. So, 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 so first of all, he destroyed Baal's worship and his priests. Uh, 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 he destroyed the sodomite houses. He destroyed the high places of idolatry. He destroyed uh, the fire worship to Molech. He removed sin worship and his dedicated horses and chariots. He destroyed idolatrous altars. He destroyed other idol gods. He destroyed Jeroboam's altar and his high priest at Bethel. He destroyed the high priest in all of Samaria and killed the idolatrous priest. He got busy. All that did was not right. He cleaned house. We're going to start anew. And when you look at this renew, when we talk about renew and re again, what in that prefix? What in most time? What does re mean? When you think about that prefix, when you when you think about re, to do again. When anything is re, renew, redo, it's to do again. So he's doing renewing this. All that's happening there, we're gonna start over and do this again. So we're storing. Restore again. Restore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so, so we're going to do it again. Amen. We, we, we had it again. Now we're going to renew this whole thing again. Have you ever, you ever had to renew your driving license? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that means you're going to get them again. Uh, uh, you ever had to renew a contract on your, some warranty? Yeah. You want to start it anew. So, so, so he wanted all of that that's happening, that that's happening, but we're going to do this again like this from the beginning. And that's why he went in and got rid of all of that idolatrous stuff, all those idolatrous priests, all that they reminded of idolatry. 
We're going to get rid of all of this because we just read what God wanted us to do. We've just read from Moses' law. And this is how God wants us to live. So this is how we're going to do. And, and, and here's the thing that I, I forgot to tell you in this. In this, when he got this message back from the prophetess, the prophetess told him that, well, God is not pleased and he's going to send wrath upon these people. But Josiah, guess what? When this comes, you're going to be sleeping in your grave. Mm -hmm. See, you won't experience this, Josiah. You're going to live in peace with God, and you're going to die in peace. Mm -hmm. So when all of this happens, you will be at peace with God, and you'll be yeah. sleeping in the grave. So you won't experience this. Wasn't that some good news for Josiah to do that? So, so Josiah died in war at 39 years old. But he never knew this wrath that God was going to send on his people because of all of this that was going on. Because Josiah was pleasing to God. And that's, that's some good news when you can uh, 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 recognize that, that, that God just allows this, to, that you don't have to experience some things. This is going to come, this wrath is going to come, but you're not going to experience that. Uh, uh, and that had to be good news for, for Josiah. Because, you know, we can't stand God's wrath. At least I can't. Y'all might can. I, 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 I can't stand God's wrath. Uh, when he brings his wrath, it's going to be tough. We don't want that. Uh, uh, you know, and sometimes, uh, sometimes, 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 sometimes. Uh, uh, Sister Hubbard. I just, and I put this in parallel to that. You know, when, when Mama used to tell us not to do nothing, you know when that belt come, we knew what it was going to be. Why did we do it? We knew what the consequences were going to do, and we did it. And then when it's belt time, we want to we sob and beg. Huh? Huh? That's the same we are right now. We get out of course with God. And we want to beg and plead and all that. We done done wrong. It's consequent time now. Some things cause this consequence. Amen. When you do something, you got to weigh the consequence. And so it was. And then let quickly, I need to move on. And so he cleaned house. And here's the thing, here's the thing. And in, 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 in that 23rd uh, uh, verse and down to the 21st chapter, here, here's the thing that got me. Josiah had realized that all that has been done, all that stuff in, the, in that idolatry. But here's the thing that was most outstanding. All these years, they never had Passover. Isn't that, isn't that something? Remembering the most significant thing that God did for them, bringing them out of Egypt, and they never experienced Passover. These kings thought it not important. Can you imagine coming in a church year after year and never having the Lord's Supper? Huh? How long are you going to be part of that church? They go year after year, year after year, and never. How, how long are you going to be part of that church? I ain't going to be too long, though. I'll be long. Uh, Y'all, they don't believe in the Lord's Supper. I might need to find me somewhere else. <laughs> They, 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 they ain't no significance to them. And that's the way it was. All these kings, they found no significance in the Passover. And Josiah instituted, he said, we're going to get back to this. That, that's, that's the, I wasn't there when all it was out of Egypt, but I remember and I can, can get from this reading that God did something for the people of Israel. And we're going to go back to observing the Passover. And so it was, it said, the king commanded all the people, saying, Keep the Passover unto the Lord your God, as it is written in the book of this covenant. Surely there was not holding such a Passover from the days of the judges, that the judge of Israel, nor in the days of the kings of Israel, nor the kings of Judah. But in the 18th year of King Josiah, wherein the Passover was holding, the Lord is in Jerusalem. I'm putting it back in. It's been without, all these kings without. I'm, 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 it's been absent from all this. They had no significance. But here it is. He's 26 years old now. I'm putting it back in. This Passover is significant. And, and, and he recognized that because, but because look what God had done for Israel. Look what he, look what would have happened if not been for the, for, for, for the blood on the post that night. 
would have happened to y'all if he hadn't allowed that to happen? Don't you remember what, can't you just have something significant that you can go back to remembering what, what he did for you? Look in your life today. Now you can get excited sometimes, some own personal stuff, what he's done in your life. You can get happy and have church sometimes. You can be in your room by that. You can be in the kitchen sometimes and think, woo, boy, what he done done for me. Right, you get excited sometimes because he's done something good for you. And you just get so full that, oh, he's been, I didn't deserve it. Boy, he's been so good. And that moment, I can just imagine Josiah can look, y'all need to get back to this. Had not been for the blood on that post that night, all of y'all have been dead. And he allowed that. So we're going to get back to this Passover. And I can remember just like when we talk about the Lord's Supper, if you can't remember and go back to Calvary what God did and don't have the Lord's Supper and not have no significance in that, I can't stick around. I, 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 I like y'all. Uh, you know, but if, if y'all comfortable with it, uh, I, I got the exit. <laughs> I'll see y'all down the road somewhere. <laughs> if y'all all right with it, uh, I can't handle it. Uh, uh, and if folk allow that to happen, it's a travesty. If you can come in year in, year in, year in, year in, and never, ever have the Lord's Supper? I don't know. No, that kind of happened during the pandemic. Well, that's understandable. Yeah. We didn't have the Lord's Supper for, we didn't have the Lord's Supper for a while, and it was something that was missed. Yeah, you know. sure. It's a significant thing. Circumstance that was kind of unusual. We never experienced that because we couldn't come to the house, uh, uh, and 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 we couldn't be among any people, and 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 the preacher can't come to every member's house and do it because that was that was dangerous. So that was an unusual thing to happen. But can you imagine living through those times each Sunday, not experiencing that Sunday after Sunday? And never experienced that, that. I don't know if y'all felt a little funny about it. Something was missing. Uh, uh, and then when we got back to it, we sure wanted to hurry up and get back to it. We want to prolong this thing. We want to get back and remember, because we said, and often as you do it, we want to remember what he did on Calvary Cross. Amen. We want to keep that blinking. the only personal thing. I leave that up to them. If you don't have significance within yourself, that's between you and your God. I don't, I don't, try, to, I don't try to nurse them to take it or nothing. That's up to you. next quarter we're going to be talking about making the right choices All right. and so um, she has this little card that we made that basically they put their name on here they'll put the choice that they had to make you know during the week they put the choice that they made during the week and then they have to answer the question whether or not God was pleased with their mm. with what they did 
and then she's going to tell you what she wrote on the back. Okay, let's go over your card first. Tell them what you said first. To not. Okay, the choice that she had. To do good or not. Okay. The choice that you made. Learn, listen to my teacher. Teacher. Okay, she's talking about a teacher at school. Okay. Now, you made the choice to listen to your teacher, okay? And she was telling me that when she was in school, um, when she was in class, she just kept, you know, in her mind, she was thinking, and she was thinking, you know, that she really wanted to challenge herself to do good. So she made the choice. God helped her make the choice right. to do what she was supposed to. And so I asked her, the next question is, did what she do please God? Yes. Yes. Okay. Right. And as a result of that, what are you going to uh, pray this week? Thank you, you, Lord, for help, helping me to learn listen to my teacher okay. and, and um, if you listen to, to your teacher you, you're being what obedient, obedient. All right. Amen. All right. so the scripture and she, she learned her other, you want to tell them what that the scripture that we had before was Romans 23 she, she, she got that scripture down for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. John, chapter 14, chapter 14, 15, 15. Here it says, come on, read it. If you love me, hope, 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 me and my. That's going to be the scripture, next scripture that she's going to learn because what she wants, what we talked about in class is that if, if you want to please God and if you really love him, you will work toward obeying his commandments, all of his commandments. Amen. And so that's going to be with her. Amen. time we'll have highlights by the disciple class. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, everything Deacon Bryant teaches us, every time I get something out of it. Amen. Most, what I got today is, was cleaning house. Uh, where Josiah, when he saw change was needed, he started with himself first. Yeah. So to yeah. me, that was cleaning his yeah. house. Yeah. So he repented and asked God for his forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And he brought the people in and had them all read the scripture. And uh, well, they read the script. He read the scripture, but he had them all go over the law of yeah. what was given. Yeah. And uh, that would help them learn to obey and go back 
because so much had been lost from their ancestors mm -hmm. where they had changed, the king had came in and changed so many rules yeah. that they had basically, to me, forgotten yeah. what God had said. Mm -hmm. So once he went back and read it, he had to uh, go back and try to change things, get things changed. Yeah. So with us, I'm saying mm -hmm. cleaning house, <laughs> it's not so much as cleaning Physically, physically, but cleaning within, cleaning right. our spirit. Yeah. And when we yeah. go in and clean ourselves right. up and look at ourselves, <laughs> then that way we'll be pleasing God. Yeah, amen. Any other highlights? If not, we'll have a review by Reverend Shield. Amen. Good morning to everybody. Good morning. Good morning. God been good to you? All the time. Did he wake you up this morning? Yes. All right. Anybody? Did everybody enjoy the lesson? Amen. That young man now, I tell you, he, he sounded to me like he's going to be able to move on up a little higher. <laughs> he, he got it. He got it. All he got to do is just acknowledge it. I'm not putting it off on you, but everybody see it. You know. But anyway, God is good. God is good. As I was, I'm not supposed to be long, but I'm going to take about two, three minutes. All right. All right. All right. About two, three minutes. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me read this first. It says, aim to change. By the end of the lesson, we will examine the events that led Josiah to renew the covenant. Our sense of our need for a spiritual renewal and seek spiritual re, uh, renewal and engage in at least one activity that will help us experience spiritual renewal. Mm -hmm. All right. Anybody get anything out of the lesson? Oh yeah. Or, yeah. Anybody get anything out of the lesson? Oh yes. Tell me, tell me something that you got out of the lesson. Change is gonna come. Yeah. Change is gonna come. Yeah. That's right. So you see, yeah. lots of uh, space for renewal. Amen. So now, how do we, how do we get our people as close to us to grow? Do we, do we talk Jesus to them, or do we just ask them like, God, is God good and going about our day? Encourage him. Yeah, talk Jesus to him. Encourage him. And demonstrate in your life. The life you live. Yeah, you go. Okay. Yeah, that does a whole lot. I was sitting there and I said, this sounds like our world. Kings and kingdom. <laughs> Anybody hear what Trump said he's going to do today? <laughs> I didn't hear the thing. Politics is something there. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> problems. King had problems during that, during that time. Oh, yeah. And we have problems today. You're right. During our time. So just praying is not going to solve that problem. We need to get out with the people. That's right. right. Secular and spiritual problems. Mm -hmm. And it's, 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 our teachers talked about repent, true worship, and the Passover. 
You know, I could, I could say a whole lot about myself, but I don't want to give you too much, too much information about me. <laughs> we, we have to be careful. Amen. Let me say that we have to be careful what information we put out That's right. about ourselves. Uh -huh. Because when while we standing out putting it out, they baiting the hook. <laughs> they baiting the hook, <laughs> saying, "Didn't I see you so and so and so and so? What was that you had in your hand?" <laughs> and so forth and so on. You know. So we have to be careful. Amen. And there's lots of lots of reform needs to be done. Amen. And we st I need to do something in my house. Yeah. I don't know about your house, but but anyway. I'm going to let you go. God is good. All the time. And God can do anything. Uh -huh. And God bless you. Amen. Any, any questions? Any questions? No questions. Doors of the church are open. There might be someone here like to renew their they religion. Um, Renew their uh, spiritual uh, knowledge. Or just come and make testimony. You can do so. Come and Amen. Say God bless you. God keep you. Amen. And remember, God can do mm -hmm. everything. Amen. 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 Minutes of the New Light Ebenezer Missionary Baptist Church, Sunday Church School, October the 29th in the, the year of our Lord, 2023. The school was called to order by Brother Derek Hubbard at 9.30 a.m. singing This Little Light of Mine. Prayer by Brother Hubbard. Scripture for today, 2 Kings chapter 22, verse 8 through 10. The subject of the lesson, Josiah brings reform. The main thought today, 2 Kings chapter 22. 3 verse 3. Officers present 2, teachers present 2, uh, visitors uh, 9. Grand total attendance for the today 12. Uh, grand total attendance last Sunday was 12. Total enrollment uh, of the school is 56. New students enrolled today 0. New members today 0. To total offering for today $22.28. The weather was cloudy and warm. The total Bibles brought 12. Bible, I mean, banner offering class today were the disciples with uh, $17.23. Bible, banner Bible class disciples, 11 Bibles. Banner attendance class disciples with 11 Bibles, I mean, 11 people. The lesson was viewed by Reverend Shields. Privilege was extended by Reverend Shields. Closing remarks uh, would be made by uh, Brother Hubbard. The closing song, God Bless Our Sunday School, Bible study on Wednesday at noon. Closing scripture will be by Brother Hubbard. Uh, Sister Erie Moten, Secretary. Sister Irma Harvey, Assistant Secretary. Sister Paula Harris, Acting Secretary. Deacon Lee Jefferson, Superintendent, Brother Derek Hubbard, Assistant Superintendent, Reverend Joseph McCormick is our pastor. Amen. 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 You heard the minutes. Are there any necessary corrections? If not, the minutes then prove it's read. Any announcements? Yes. Let me. Uh, good morning, good night. Good morning. I want to caution the church this morning. We had an intruder on Thursday while, while I was rehearsing over here. Someone went into one of the uh, members' car. Uh, we're in the holiday season, and uh, people are laying to victimize people. So we need to be cautious. We need to be alert wherever we are. And who's in our environment? Who's around us? Because like I say, people that's bent on victimizing people, you can't stop them from doing that. 
But if you're alert and they know you're alert, you might deter them from engaging you. So let's be alert and let's pray for one another, especially all the time, yeah. but especially during these holidays. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. Let us stand and sing a full song. Oh, bless our Sunday school. Hey.